Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I actually have two different hauls for you. I have everything for Christmas, so I'm going to be sharing with you what we're doing for Christmas Eve, what I'm making. I have a lot of good stuff in store. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday and five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend setting yourself up for success in the new year and having your macros and calories done as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask your questions or talk with me directly. I also am starting group coaching in January. All of the information is on the community tab here on YouTube and in my Facebook group. So if you're not in my Facebook group, also come and join us. So let's head into the kitchen for this week's big grocery haul. So my Imperfect Foods, AKA, but I'm done, Misfits Market order is here. I don't know if you knew, but those two companies combined. You guys know how much I love Imperfect Foods, Misfit Markets. It's a great way to prevent food waste and get really good deals on food. So let me show you what's in my order. So I bought these crackers, these Fit Joy crackers. I'm making a charcuterie board for Christmas Eve and my mother-in-law is gluten-free and these are gluten-free and grain-free and dairy-free, even though they are cheese flavored. So I've tried some things from this Fit Joy brand and really enjoyed them. So we're going to add those crackers to the charcuterie board. Speaking of crackers, I also picked up this assorted trio. I buy this every year or every time I do a charcuterie board. It has classic wafer, classic water crackers, multigrain and veggie crackers. Really good. I mean, the perfect trio for a board and super affordable. I have two bags of the treats I like to give my dogs. These are the Shameless Pets soft base biscuits and bananas for bacon. These are such good quality dog treats. I mean, really, really good ingredients. And we got a couple dogs right here that we'll give one to at the end, okay? You just gotta be patient. And then I got these little mini muffins. I have bought these from, before from Imperfect Foods. These are from Abe's. These are amazing, they're so good. These are the apple cider. They're 100% vegan muffin. No milk, no nuts, no eggs, no soy. Really, really good though. They're very moist, perfect size. Just a little mini muffin, great as part of breakfast. Speaking of breakfast, I picked these up because I've heard really good things about this brand, Olira, Olira. These are strawberry filled breakfast biscuits. No, you be patient, oh, Palmer. Nine grams of fiber and only six grams of sugar. Nice clean ingredients and $140 for two. So. I grabbed those. Again, I thought they'd be great for on the go. Just pair them with some protein. I also got a big bag of rice. This was a great deal. This Thai jasmine rice. This is our favorite rice and we are completely out. So I grabbed that. I also love this granola from Blue Stripes. This is the whole cacao granola peanut butter banana. I bought this at Sprouts and it was so expensive. It was so much more affordable through Imperfect Foods. It's actually all plant-based and full of superfoods. It's a really, really good granola to top yogurt bowls. These are organic yellow potatoes amazing amazing price i thought i could use these in the pot roast i also like to just roast up and smash potatoes for a side so no surprise to anybody that i did grab one chia smash i was just a few dollars away from free shipping and i don't like to pay shipping so i ordered a jar of the raspberry chia smash i use this every single time i make a yogurt bowl and then i also got my favorite bread i mean hands down my favorite favorite bread and it's actually the imperfect foods brand the seven sprouted whole grain bread this bread is so incredibly delicious. It's 100 calories a slice. It has grams of protein and four grams of fiber per slice. Amazing, amazing macros. Love that bread. And then all your cold stuff all, always comes in a bag and everything is nice and cold in there, especially for me here in Arizona. It's nice to know that my food's going to arrive cold. So one of the things I ordered was a mush overnight oats. This is the apple cinnamon. I've heard really good things about this. I know that it has really good macros. So I wanted to have it on hand for a quick breakfast. And then I got some hummus. This hummus is so good from Imperfect Foods, the roasted red pepper. And I thought that we could add that to the charcuterie board. And then I like to have that with pretzels and veggies. I also grabbed one of the seasonal kombucha flavors from Brew Doctor. Palmer, patience, please. This is the Snicker Doodle Kombucha. I've never tried this, but I'm so excited about it. Sharp Cheddar Sliced Cheese, really, really good price. 
And last but not least, I love this non-fat Greek yogurt, the Imperfect Foods brand. It's a little bit thinner consistency, so it is fantastic to mix protein powder in and make like a protein yogurt. I like it much better than the really thick Greek yogurts, plus it's still packed with protein. So that is everything in my order. I'll link Imperfect Foods slash Misfits Market down below for you with free groceries. Click the link and you'll get free product credit for whatever you order. Definitely check if they're in your area. Highly, highly recommend. And we have whiny dogs, so let's give them one of their treats. So here's what they look like, their little hearts. And somebody thinks everything's always for them. There you go, buddy. There you go, Nug. So here is my grocery haul for the week and for both Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I did also pick up a couple of eight packs of Gatorade Zero and some Diet Coke for Troy. So I needed some chicken broth for a recipe. I'm going to be making a homemade soup in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. So stay tuned after the grocery haul for what's on my menu for dinners. But I needed chicken broth for the soup. I also picked up two gallons of 1% milk for Troy. Two cans of these no sugar added sliced peaches. I'm going to incorporate oatmeal with protein powder and peaches as a snack throughout the day, especially as we move into January and my fitness goals and goals in general are changing. I know I've been putting the carrot out there about goals, but that video will be live December 31st. So definitely subscribe, turn your bell on so you know what I'm doing in the new year and if I met my 2023 goals. So I did pick up two cans of no sugar added peaches for the oatmeal. We also wanted pastrami for the charcuterie board. They were out of pastrami in the deli and man, regular pastrami is hard to come by. They had a lot of turkey pastrami, but I know Troy didn't want that. So I did find the Hillshire farm with the regular pastrami. And again, that is for the charcuterie board that we're making on Christmas Eve. I also grabbed four vanilla votives. I was hoping for a Christmas scent. They didn't have any, so vanilla it is. We have these cute little candle holders. I'll show you guys in just a second that we put votives in on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and light them and they're just really pretty in the house. And these are those candles. So we usually just put a votive in there and light it for the holidays. So that's what I picked up the little white vanilla votives for. I also grabbed three more little packs of wax melts. These were on sale for $1.49, which is a great deal. And all three of these smell so good. So I got a cinnamon roll, a apple cinnamon, that one smells amazing, and then a pumpkin pie and nutmeg. I really like spicy scents all year round. So I was excited to find those. I also needed pickle spears for Christmas Eve. I'm doing a ham and cream cheese wrapped pickle spear. It is one of Troy's favorite little appetizers. We're just doing appetizers and a charcuterie board and then Christmas cookies that I made for Christmas Eve. So he asked for the pickles wrapped in ham and cream cheese. It really is super good. And then I got some more of my favorite dressing. This is from the brand Marzetti and this is the Simply Ranch. This has nice clean ingredients and it's only 50 calories for two tablespoons. Now don't sleep on the Mexican food aisle in your grocery store for spices. They wanted four to five dollars for dill. This was 99 cents. So check this little area for spices before you spend a lot of money on the jarred spices. And I have nice little jars that I bought on Amazon. I just refill them. So this is perfect. And man, 99 cents versus $5, that's a big saving. I did find some pretty darn good meat deals. I got a pound of 99% ground turkey for $3.65. And then for the chicken noodle soup, it actually calls for chicken thighs, but I'm just going to use chicken breast and save the extra fat points, calories on the thighs. It gets so juicy and tender in the soup anyways. And this was on sale for $13.65. And this is the Simple Truth chicken breast. And this is, this is three and a half pounds of chicken. So that's a killer deal. Speaking of more great meat deals, I got this three pound pack of 90 I have 80 20 ground beef for $9.89. This is what I use to make Troy Spaghetti Sloppy Joes and really three pounds for less than 10 bucks. Again, a great deal. And then lastly, in the reduced meat section, I did pick up a pound of 93.7 ground turkey for $3.65. I did think it was interesting that the 99 and the 93 were the same price reduced. Usually this is a little bit more expensive. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I thought that that was kind of interesting. And then I needed ham for the pickle cream cheese roll-ups. So I did go ahead and get two packs of deli ham. What are, whatever is left over, we can either put on the charcuterie board or we can use it for sandwiches. And then I am making stuffed mushrooms. That's another appetizer Troy really loves. Actually, my whole family does. They're so good. So I needed sausage for those 
those mushrooms. We are also almost out of ketchup. Next time I make a Costco run, of course I'll buy it there. It's much more affordable, but this was on sale for $2.49. Got two big tubs of whipped cream cheese. So one is for the pickle ham roll-ups, and then I needed cream cheese for another recipe this week. So I went ahead and picked up two of the whipped. Pro tip, the whipped is a lot easier for the ham and pickle roll-ups. It just spreads a lot easier because it's light and fluffy. I did get the Snack Factory pretzel crisps and garlic parm. I'm going to put those on the charcuterie board for something crunchy. And then Troy was out of his butter. He uses the light country crock. You guys know I just use regular butter. Sometimes I use this in baking. It really just depends, but this is the butter that he prefers. And then I grabbed another tube of Simple Truth Organic tomato paste. I like the tube. There's no waste. I know that you can put it in the freezer, put it in a baggie, put it in an ice cube tray. I will never do that. I will just throw the can away. So this definitely is a lot more cost effective and eliminates all of the waste of the little cans. And then I needed panko breadcrumbs for the stuffed mushrooms. And then I did pick myself up the Fairlife chocolate milk. They were out of the Card Master chocolate, so Fairlife will do. I actually like them equally. They're about the same price. This one does have more calories, but it also has a little bit more protein. So like I said before, I consider it a wash. And then I got some little baby cucumbers for the charcuterie board. And also because I had a coupon for these, you already know we love these. And then I got some bulk veggies. So these are organic carrots. This is for the chicken noodle soup. I needed green onions for the stuffed mushrooms, as well as a couple other recipes. I needed celery for the cream of chicken soup. And then fresh parsley. This actually goes in the stuffed mushrooms or on top of the stuffed mushrooms. And then also I like to put it in my chicken noodle soup. This was on sale for $2.45. This is pineapple and pineapple juice. I count this as zero points. I don't drink the juice. I just pluck the pineapple out of it. So I plan on eating this on cottage cheese as a snack for the week. And then their berries at Fry's or Kroger stores are 98 cents this week. That's a killer deal. So I got three packs of raspberries and two packs of of blackberries. I'm a big berry eater. That's my go-to fruit. So I will definitely go through these. And then four packs of whole mushrooms for the stuffed mushrooms. I lucked out getting these on sale for $1.08. And they are good through when I need to make the stuffed mushrooms for Christmas Eve. So that was a really, really good deal. I can make a lot of stuffed mushrooms for us. So that is everything that I picked up for the week from both Imperfect Foods slash Misfits Market and my fry store. Let's jump into what's on my menu for dinner. And as a reminder, there will not be a meal prep on Monday as I'm not up, I'm not uploading on Christmas Day. But I do have a dinner menu for you, so let's jump in. So here's what is on my menu for the week. So today we are going to do takeout or out for dinner. We know that tomorrow is Christmas Eve and then Monday is Christmas Day. Tuesday we'll have leftovers. Since we're doing that charcuterie board, we'll definitely have some leftovers. Wednesday and what you'll see in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day is going to be slow cooker chicken noodle soup. I'm super excited for this. And then Thursday we'll do leftovers. And then Friday I am going to pop a pot roast carrots potatoes in the crock pot so that we have a big hearty meal to make it through the, re the weekend. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from Imperfect Foods slash Misfits Market. I will link them down below with free groceries. I love them. It's so nice to have everything delivered to your doorstep as well as everything I picked up for Christmas and for the week. As a reminder, there will not be a video posted on Sunday or Monday, so there will not be a meal prep this week, but I'll see you in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.